it's the uh, the steering wheel cam. That's the best way I can get it, the camera to stay still and be where I want it to be. <laughs> oh, 70 miles per hour, my favorite. Let's take care of that. I love the south, or at least coming here, it seems every place is 70 miles per hour. Yes. I met her in high school, summer before my senior year. We were in a Christian drama group together, and I had been in the drama group uh, the year prior, and she was a new person coming in. One of our friends, or one of the people that was in the group, knew her and said to me, oh my gosh, this girl, Katie Ryder, you guys are gonna hit it off. I, I never forget him saying that. It was you, Jess Bennett, if you ever happened to see this. You were right, we did hit it off. I remember the exact moment I met her. We were on a bus. Famously at the time, Katie would put her finger like this to shake your hand. So there was this lump thing right here. She thought that was hysterical. So that if you were on the receiving end of the handshake, you felt an odd lump and it was very strange. I remember that, I mean, that's the first thing that she did when we shook hands and she moved it and she made some kind of joke about how it was a wart or something. And I remember thinking like, we just met. Who does this person think that she is? And after that handshake, I remember thinking that she had to be the quirkiest person I had come across. It was the oddest first encounter. That night, we had a campfire. We were in the middle of nowhere in the blackest of night and she sang. <laughs> and I remember looking up at the stars, just an array, a huge array of stars, listening to her voice, just being completely blown away. I remember the moment vividly. Katie sang for the first time, you're just so struck by just her voice and how pure it was and awesome. And she was 17 at the time, singing a, an amazing song that she had written. She and I basically immediately hit it off. We really did. And as our friendship developed, we decided to write like weekly letters of encouragement to each other. Um, and I remember always just being so struck with her wisdom. She was so young and I was <laughs> learning a great deal from her about life, my word. And I still have, you know, every single letter that she wrote. And she just knew, even at that age, how to live, how to interact with people, and, and more importantly, how to love. <laughs> Let me pause. You look like someone in San Francisco, I know. <laughs> <laughs>